Hi everyone, in this lecture we're going to add more fields to the meeting model. So, so far we have uh, within the meeting table we just have two columns. We have the title and we have the date column. In this lecture, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add two more columns and I'm going to discuss the issues that are going to arise, that are going to be arised whenever we try to add more columns. So the first one is going to be start time. And I'm going to say models dot. Now, this is going to be a time field. So I'm just going to say time field. Uh, the next one is going to be duration. So I'm going to say duration is going to be equal to models dot uh, integer field so all these uh, functions or methods the character field date field time field integer field they specify our data types for each specific column we know from our sql essentials course that whenever you're creating a database table for each column you need to define what the data type is going to be so here we just say that the duration is going to have an integer field so the user cannot provide like letters in there now let's uh, make some migration so i'm going to say python manage.py make migrations let's hit enter now here is an interesting um, issue uh, this is something that you're going to face um, at some point when you're creating applications. And what it basically says is, um, first we're going to go over what it literally says. It says you're trying to add a non-nullable field duration to meeting without a default. We can't do that. The database needs something to populate existing rows. Now, what does this mean? It means that our current database which is shown right here we have two meeting objects within this database right and for each meeting object because the server is not running it's not going to respond uh, for each meeting object we have uh, two um, uh, two columns so one is going to be title and the other one is going to be date now because we have a meeting object the meeting object has a title and a date and we say that we want that meeting object to have another column of start time and another column of duration but we do not provide it with a default value now default values they're not allowed by Django you, uh, undefault values like non-default values you need to provide one at least a value for any field that you have in your application so in here I'm just gonna say two uh, just to quit and let me add a default in the models.py so I'm gonna say to now I'm gonna run the server so I'm gonna say manage.py uh, run server and I'm gonna tell I'm gonna show you exactly what it is that I mean so if I just reload this it should just connect to our server let's just go back uh, here we are in the admin let's go into meetings um, let me just log out and log in again try log in uh was it this one evolutive learning just hit enter um uh it is let me just click here oh helali python it was the other one kind of forget that there we go so if i go to into meetings um start time it is going to throw that error so for now i'm going to delete these two fields i'm just going to delete them and the changes are going to be detected let's just refresh the page and there we go now what does that error actually mean it means that now you can see for each meeting we have two fields the first one is the title the second one is the date now when you add two more fields the third one is going to be added uh, or the first new field is going to be added right below the date and the other one is going to be added right below the previous one but for those we don't have any default values that's why it is throwing that error because default and non-default values they're disallowed by Django so you need to have at least something within your fields you cannot submit it like an empty field for um, for this specific meeting that we are creating therefore we see that error so let me just get out of the server just close the server and I'm gonna comment this part in 
save that and we are going to run this file and we are going to run our migrations again uh, is, it is going to ask that you need to provide at least one default uh, value for your meeting so I'm gonna hit two just to say okay that um, I'm going to define defaults by myself in my models now to be able to define uh, uh, within uh, defaults within our model what I'm going to do is first I'm gonna go to top and I'm gonna say from date time now what do we have to provide defaults for now before I answer in that question there is something that I need to address and that is uh, this uh, usually never happens uh, this usually never happens whenever you're creating real-world applications because when you create it you have this idea in mind okay what are my columns going to be uh, so when you have your columns predefined you don't need to just define two once and then later down the road you have to like define two more therefore you don't you're not going to face this issue that often but in case you do face it there are work workarounds uh, um, uh, here as well we are going to talk about the most obvious which I've already done once and that was uh, deleting the SQLite database and deleting all the migrations and just rerunning all the migrations again uh, or running the server is going to create the database running the migrations is going to create database tables and columns depending on, on our models that is the uh, an easy way but in case you're stuck and uh, in case you don't want all of your data to be deleted now if you do that if you delete your database you are going to be able to create columns but all the data within the columns they're going to be deleted so if you want to prevent that and you say okay I want to add another column to my table but how can I do it without deleting the existing uh, records within the database this is the way that you can do it so first we are going to say from date time import uh, time so what it is that we want to provide as default so we have start time I'm just gonna provide a time for the start time and I'm gonna set it to default 9 9 a.m. so I'm gonna say default is gonna be let me grab the time function and I'm just gonna pass in here 9 so that is going to be the default for the start time and what is gonna be the default for duration the default for duration I'm just gonna set it to 1 let's save that let's uh, run our my let's make the migrations again so I'm gonna say Python manage dot pi and now we don't see that error anymore it says uh, add field duration to meeting add field start time to meeting now we have made our migrations but we have not actually executed those migrations therefore we need to say Python manage dot pi uh, migrate when you hit enter it's going to say that it's going to first off it's going to create another file within the migrations folder and if you take a look at that that file will be created for two fields so we have um, the field name is duration and the field it is an integer field with a default of one and then for the second field we have the name is going to be start time and the field itself is time field and it's going to start at 9 a.m. Uh, that's why all uh, in the project demo when I showed you where you could plan a new meeting the default was 9 a.m. if you just go back to that video and take a look at it it's always going to be 9 a.m. because I defined it right here so um, uh, there we go so we actually we have uh, migrated the changes as well and we know what migration is migration is just going to create uh, is going to ch uh, change the format or, or the structure of our database based on our model class so uh, in this scenario it's just going to add two more columns now there is one more thing that I would like to remedy here as well uh, if I go back as, because the server is not running it's going to say unable to connect but I want to add a string representation as well instead of seeing that meeting object one I just want to provide a string representation that says this is the title of the meeting meeting at some time on some date so I'm gonna say def we're gonna use the stir magic method and we know that for uh, whenever we're working in a class object-oriented fashion we need to provide at least one parameter 
So it's going to be format is string. Now first, I'm going to say self.title. It's going to grab the title of the meeting. Uh, so this is the title at what time on what date. So at self. Um, um, start time. What is the name of the column? And self. Um, date. There we go. So this is just going to change that. Now for this, we are going to run the migrations again. We are going to migrate all the changes. And here is an interesting thing that that you're going to see, and I'm, I will explain it. So we are going to have manage that pi uh, migrate. Now. Uh, it says in here no migrations to apply why why is it saying no migrations to apply we clearly changed our model class but it has detected no migrations the reason that there are no migrations to be applied is because we did not change the model fields we did not change the table columns we just added a behavior which is not part of what will be stored in the database. It's not part of what will be stored. So as long as it has nothing to be to do with storing something in the database, we are not going to end up with any migrations. Therefore, uh, hence we have no migrations to apply. Oops, uh, that's the next project. There we go. And now I'm going to run the server. So I'm going to say Python. Let me just clear the terminal. Python manage.py run server. Let's run the server and I'm just going to go to that address. All right, so let's go to admin. Let's check our changes. And uh, there we go, we are logged in. Now, if I click on this meeting, we should see a string representation. Meeting at uh, this time on this date. And there we go. So it says course CSS3 course review at the default time, which is 9, on, the, on this date. And if you click on it, the default duration is going to be one hour. There we go. So these two were the default values that we, we had to provide. Otherwise, they, were, they would not have been created. You can change. You have this really cool thing, uh, uh, tooltip as well. You can click on the now. You can do whatever you want. So this is the current time. I'm just going to save it and there we go so for this one um, uh, we have all this information I'm just gonna say save it and for this one we just saw what information we had so now you can see that uh, we have our first meeting and we have our we have our first meeting and we have the second meeting and we have all the default fields there as well if you go to your DB browser you're gonna see uh, all the changes um, done to the uh, database table as well but but because we didn't do anything else in the database table we just we just might see like here here is the duration and here is the start time if you just go to the meetings meeting table we just added two more columns that's it so with this our lecture comes to an end see you in the next one